We are now in my mom and dad's favorite street. But there's a tramway that goes here to the airport directly. And uh, no cars come through here. It's a nice walkway, basically. Walkway this way, walkway on that side. So this is actually one of the places where my mom and dad really like. So what we're going to talk about today is to do with the three options most people have. And people keep asking me this question, that's why I'm going to make a video about it. So I'm going to say it once, don't ask me this question again, please. So most of our customers, what they do, they don't directly move here. They buy a backup home, they buy a holiday home, they put it on rent as an investment, as a future place to stay. Uh, they put it on long-term rent, short-term rent, wherever they want to, depending upon the location that they buy. And um, that's not option number one. And in that option, there's no amount of money you need to invest. You just buy it. And if you're from most of the Western countries, from England, from America, you don't need a visa. You just come here, you can stay up to six months a year, and you don't need to worry. So you just come stay in your apartment six months of the year, enjoy it. Come as you go, want, please go, go as you want. Come and go, go and come, I don't know. Do you know what I'm saying? So six months of the year you can stay. So every 30, so three months you stay, three months you go, three months you stay, three months you go. Uh, so it kind of works out like that. My wife says that I walk around here and sit here like I own the place. So I said to her, one day, one day. <laughs> so anyway, coming back to the thing. So with that, very easy. You don't need to apply for health insurance. You don't need nothing. Just come here and just go when you want. Proof of urban regeneration right behind me. So why people tell people the investments that I'm telling you to buy, that 100k apartment, the old buildings, urban regeneration right here. The same street I was just walking on. Sing down there. All these buildings have been broken and they make a new building. So, so I tell you, the 100,000 pound property, 18.5% land share. This is how many floors here. These old buildings here are seven floors high, seven floors. That is only two floors. Imagine the amount of urban regeneration money you can make. Anyway, coming back to the point. So second option is residency. $200,000, about 150,000 pounds. Gets your whole family residency and it get renewed every two years. It's basically ongoing residency forever. Yeah, the, you're kind of guaranteed you're going to get renewed if you buy a property. Then your children can go start going to school. Uh, they can get, you know, uh, doctors for free and other things like that. So that two hundred thousand dollar, you have to buy one property. You can't buy multiple properties, and you have to live in that property and you can't rent that property. So with the first option, obviously you can't send your children to school because they're not resident here. You understand? But you can come and go as you please if you're homeschooling or if you don't have children, if you're retired, or if you want to just, as I said, if you want to keep it as an investment. So you don't need to worry about those things. Just enjoy the rental income, knowing that you've got a backup home somewhere. And it's a good investment for the future anyway, Antalya is. It's always going to be, uh, it's, from what we can see at the moment, the demand is crazy because of the earthquake zone around the whole of Turkey in the coastal area. This is the only city that is not uh, red zone. It's second most popular city in the world, expanding all the time. Airports expanding, population is expanding, building construction is happening everywhere. You know, everything is in demand at the moment in Antalya. Someone asked me about job prospects. Very simple. This is a very, very popular place. Here we go. Another urban regeneration place happening. Yeah. So second most popular city in the in Turkey. Everybody in South Turkey, in a whole area of South Turkey, this is the city. This is the only major city. And this is where everyone comes to work. Everyone wants a job, everyone wants tourism work or any sort of job. This is where it's all happening. Construction, everything. Because when you go a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left, a little bit to the north, earthquake zone again, I'm sorry. So this is why I see the future is very good for Antalya. Now coming back to the uh, where we were is that third option is citizenship. Yeah, citizenship, of course, you get your Turkish passport. Um, with the residency, $200,000 one, anybody, all the children, over 18, under 18 can get residency when you do the $200,000 thing. But with the citizenship, only the children under 18 get their Turkish passport. But of course, with that, you get cheaper health insurance. Uh, 
many other things get cheaper for you. It also means that you can now, uh, unlimited land property, you can buy it. Because farmland, you can't buy it, yeah? Farmland, 99% of farmland in Turkey, a foreigner cannot buy. That's why that 90,000 pound, oh, it feels like I'm advertising properties. 90,000 uh, pound uh, farmland that is 10,350 square meters. 10,350 square meters land, yeah? It's one mile away from the city of Dinar. You can check it out on Google, okay? That's two hours away from Antalya. Massive land. You can build a house on that, make a prefab, solar paneled, water, everything, you know, you can have. So that's got walnut trees, best investment, you know, according to what we know, you can make up to like 10,000 pounds a year. And it's only 90,000 pounds. You do the maths. But, you know, so that's another, another, you know, thing. So we basically spend a lot of money on that. We spend about 20,000 pounds on that to make it from a farm to a garden. That's why now any foreigner can buy it. But majority of farmland, you cannot buy. So just keep that in mind. That's why that is an amazing investment, amazing deal for foreigners. Anyway, so coming back to a citizenship, you could buy any farmland. You could buy any land. So that's the advantage of having citizenship. Um, so that is $400,000. The other advantage with that one is more flexible, is that you don't even have to be in Turkey. You don't have to live in Turkey. You don't have to live in those properties that you buy. You can buy multiple properties, put it all on rent, put, get income from all of them, sell it after three years, and you still keep your citizenship. So citizenship has that ad major advantage. Um, so yeah, that's what it is basically. And I hope that answers most of the most frequently asked questions is about these three things. So these three options is what you have. There's a masjid behind me there. So walking back on the street. Um, so these are the three options as I told you. So don't ask me about the options again, yeah? When you call me. So first option is you come and go as you please. You don't need no insurance, don't need no uh, residency, don't need nothing. Buy a property, keep it as a backup, keep it as a holiday home. And that could be a transitionary phase as well. So you do that and then slowly, slowly, you, once you become comfortable of living here for three months, you've tried it in the, living in your property uh, and you've rented out getting some income as well. Then you're like, I feel comfortable now. Now maybe I'll invest more. Now maybe I'll get residency or citizenship. So that's a good gradual process. The second one was residency, $200,000. You buy one property. The third is citizenship. That's the big jump, big leap. Yeah. So things are getting problemsome, troublesome. But they were always. So I don't know why people are getting such a hissy fit out of this uh, Palestinian thing that's happening. And they're like, oh, now we need to make the move. The move, the signs were there from the very beginning. Who the enemy is, who the bad guy is, who's doing all the bad things. They started it long time ago. Yeah, long, 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 long time ago. They started, yeah. That I means to cut my nails. So hundreds of years ago they started yeah you had your major signs in your lifetime when afghanistan iraq uh you know uh, libya all sorts of countries all of these countries were targeted yeah so it's not just one sign you've had you've had unlimited signs yeah palestine is just one more added to the list of how evil and bad these people are and what they've been doing to muslims yeah millions of people died just in iraq alone so anyway, before the video gets a bit depressing, let's end it out there. Oh, look, another urban regeneration. Anyway, these are my shops where I go to A101 shop. These are quite cheap. I avoid Migros. Migros is apparently owned by, you know, a foreign company who, of course, is owned by, you know, who. So, yeah, just be careful, inshallah. May Allah guide us. May Allah make it easy. Don't think I'm an estate agent. I'm not trying to sell you to move to Turkey. Don't want to come. Don't come. Make istikara. Make dua to Allah. Allah will show you the signs, what's right and wrong, what is good for you, what's bad for you. I can't say what's good and bad. You know, you have to do your own decision. You have to make your own istikara, make your own dua. According to the hadith and Quran that I know of, this is the place to be. This is the place. I don't want to climb no mountains. According to the hadith, you know, when the call is made, here is much more closer. Hint, hint. Hope you got the hint. If you know the hadith in Quran about that, end of times, signs of the day of judgment, what are happening. So to protect yourself and to keep yourself in the right location, I think this is the place to be. South Turkey. I, I think so.